Kentucky State offensive tackle Iki Aquanu, the former first team All American, checks in at six foot four, 310 pounds. He has long arms at 34 inches with hands listed at 10 and a quarter inches. He ran a 4-9-3-40 at the combine and many people think he'll be the first offensive lineman to go off the board. So for more on Icky, let's toss it over to JP. Thanks, Brooke. Icky Aquanu, one of the best offensive linemen in this draft. I have not talked about the big uglies yet, but this isn't necessarily a sexy draft, so you know we got to give them a little play. I'm going to take you through the strengths and weaknesses like I've been doing every day, starting off with his biggest strength is his flexibility. When I evaluate offensive linemen, one thing I like to look at is how well do these guys bend. I look at their ankles, their knees, and their hips to tell if they're really athletic, and this is a guy who has some great flexibility and all of those joints he bends really well he's a really good athlete because of it and you're going to see it show up on the tape all the time the other thing that you're going to see show up on the tape is the fact that he's got really good hands he has very strong hands he shoots them well he can lock on to defenders and really knock them out the way which goes to the third strength for him this dude's a mauler you saw it right there literally knocking grown men off of their feet that's what you can come to expect from him in the run game this is an nfl ready prospect he's going to be a guy that you can insert right now he's going to be a road grader he can get people off of their mark create a little bit of space for a running back to go ahead and make the big play but as you look at all these prospects of course there are some weaknesses that'll show up on the tape going through some of Icky's number one is pass protection we talked about how good he is in the run game and he is phenomenal there in the NFL he is going to have to get better in pass protection he's gonna have to be a guy who understands how these NFL edge rushers are going to try to attack him to be able to overcome that and a lot of that goes to the second thing on there is his footwork I mentioned his hands they're really good his feet not so much you can see him gets stuck in the mud doesn't show up as much in the run game because he knows how to run his feet there but when he's in pass pro not necessarily as good change in direction stops his feet when he shoots his hands which is the last thing that shows up is the coordination between the hands and feet now this is really important I talked about this when I mentioned the edge rushers the best edge rushers in the NFL know how to use their hands their feet and their hips together at the same time great offensive linemen their hands and their feet work together and that's going to be something he needs to improve on when he shoots those strong massive hands he's going to have to make sure he has a good base and his feet are ready to move because these guys on the edges they change directions they're not just going to be standing there some of these college rushers are good when you get to the nfl it's nothing but elite guys so yeah. a little bit of work to do but this is why you like him is he can play right now with some great upside worth the first round pick Okay, well, that leads to my question. What's the earliest you think we can see him go off the board here? Top five. I mean, he's that good. He's that good. Top five guy. So even with the, all the defensive ends? Well, you need somebody to block him, don't you? The big uglies. That's, that's the thing is, is, and here's some NFL math, right? You love football math. Football math. So you get the edge rushers, and, and we've seen this class. You need guys to block them so you get the tackles. We see the wide receivers. This is a pretty good cornerback class, so we're going to see a run at corners at some point. Like, this is what happens is when you have an elite position somewhere, you need something to counteract that. That's where his value comes from, and he plays that well. Yeah.